Welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zaratustra, and I'm broadcasting live from Tulum, Mexico. And uh, today's topic, we're going to talk about the, uh, the nervous system and the emotional body uh, and meditation. How you can be in meditation and be quiet, yet in the meantime, your nervous system could be very much affected. You actually go beyond the mind into the silence. That doesn't necessarily mean the mind disappears. It means that you have discovered something beyond the mind which is very still and very quiet. And recognizing that as the true self, as who you are, something which is solid and is always here. And this place neither comes nor goes, it's always here. It's a recognition of it, it's a place that watching everything, it's witnessing, it's hearing, it's seeing things. It sees things come and go, is aware of everything that is happening within its field. Yet, we do have our emotional body that it gets affected. So you could be developing a deep silence within yourself and dive into this place and you're very still, you're very silent within yourself. Yet, you have become very, very sensitive to noises to the elements. And I'm sure a lot of you have been on the path for a long time because we've been, we've been together. So I know you've been doing your work is you have experienced this. Like what happens is you become sensitive to the utter noises. Like you go to a restaurant and if it's too busy or the music is too loud or they're playing a music that doesn't resonate with you, it's frequency is different. You can't really eat your food or digest it and you're not comfortable. So you may just get up and leave and go somewhere else. Same way, you may be around friends that you used to be very close to and really enjoy being around them and you go through a reunion and start hanging out with them again. And then you realize that you can't really be around them for too long because of the vibrations of the frequency they're in. And the conversations could be too worldly. And they're talking about cryptocurrency and the pandemic and the politics and blah, 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 or whatever. And now you have evolved and you have come into this deep silence within yourself. You have become friends, lover of inner peace, lover of silence. And these kind of conversations affect you and disturb you because of where they come from of the frequency that they they're in or there's all kinds of different scenarios that it happens every day when you are in touch with any kind of outside element whatever that is whether it's temperature whether it's sun, too much sun, too much clouds, too windy, too noisy, 
too wavy, too many cars, too much pollution. The water maybe has too much chemicals in it. Sense, you develop sensitivity. And that's really normal, normal for A, as we're growing older, B, as we're becoming more expanded more conscious, there's an expansion happening. And in that ex ex expansion, you're losing your numbness because majority of the people on the planet are numb. They're sleeping, they're, they're sleepwalking. They're half asleep, half awake. As Robert Anton Wilson in his book called Prometheus Rising is a part he says, how do you expect, how do you expect fairness and decency on the planet of sleepy people? On a planet that majority of its inhabitants are half asleep They're in coma. You can't expect furnace and decency because they're not expanded, they're not conscious, they have not awakened yet. Even though they are our own selves and they're aspects of one self, but the parts that are sleepy and there's similarly to us, there are parts that is sleepy, but we're waking up, awakening. Awakening also means sensitivity, becoming sensitive. Becoming sensitive, sensitivity. Means you're waking up, your different parts are waking up. So you're sensitive, you notice things. Now, in human relationship, we call it psychic. We say that you have developed psychic powers. And you can read people. And that's a very natural thing happens to the spiritual warrior as you're waking up, obviously you develop what is called psychic powers because you're becoming more expanded, your antenna is starting to work. <coughs> Excuse me. And your inner GPS gets activated. So you're becoming more in tune with your inner voice, with your inner self with the guru within yourself, as you're getting more tuned in, you're waking up, your antennas are starting to work. So consequently, you begin to sense other people, to feel them, to feel their needs, to feel their sensitivities, to pick up their thoughts, how they're feeling, where they're at. For example, you're driving and somebody's behind you is anxious. Someone's driving behind you and they're really anxious. And you sense it. So for me, it's something that I just pull over and let them go because I don't want that anxious energy behind me. I sense it with them. So I don't, I don't need to block him. 